Hello and welcome. I'm Michelle Anderson, the founder of Clarinet Mentors. I've been getting lots of questions from clarinetists lately about reeds. And it really, a reed affects our playing so much, I thought I would do a couple of short videos over the next couple of weeks to give you some useful pointers on how you can choose the right kind of reeds and help your reeds to play a little bit better. Now I already have recorded a couple of handy videos here on YouTube that I do want to draw to your attention. In the description for this video that you'll see underneath the video, I'll put links to two other videos I've made that I think you'll enjoy. Both of those relate to how you can take your current reeds and simply by moving them around on the mouthpiece or even with a little bit of advanced uh, doctoring on the reeds, you can make them play better. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how to choose the right kind of reed. So I'll give you my opinion on some of the different brand names of reeds that are out there. There's lots of choices. And I want to start with a disclaimer that I'm not associated with any particular reed company. And my own students, in fact, play quite a variety of different reeds. And I encourage them to play whatever works best for them. So depending on the mouthpiece you have and the clarinet you have and perhaps even the shape of your mouth, you're going to like some reeds better than others. What I will do though is tell you what I think the better brands are and I encourage you to try out a few different kinds and really find the one that works best for you. Now there are some really kind of low level cheapy reeds out there that you can find that I really don't recommend. And I won't even name names just to say that if they're super inexpensive, they probably don't play well for you and they can be holding you back. So I want to encourage you to think about a step up read just because I think you'll really appreciate the benefits of having something that vibrates well and produces a warmer tone. So for my intermediate level students, some of them play on the Rico Royal reeds, which come in a blue box, which is a step up from the basic Rico reeds. And even more of them play on the Mitchell Lurie reeds, which come in a shiny gold box. And I quite like those for intermediate players. They're fairly consistent, so most of the reeds in the box are pretty good. Now the one thing about Mitchell Lurie reeds, they seem to be sized a little bit differently from other reeds across the board. They act softer. So let's say, for example, that you're used to playing on a three of most name brands. If you wanted to try Mitchell Lurie, I recommend you go a half strength higher so you would get a three and a half. So if you play a two on most brands, take a two and a half of Mitchell Lurie. But they're fine reads. They're um, great for intermediate level players, and it definitely might be worth a try for you. Another read that some of my intermediate level students use is made by the Gonzales Company. I have a box right here. And there are some things that I like about these reeds. They're a family run business, they use organic cane, you know, a lot of nice qualities in those reeds. Um, some of my students love them and they generally work pretty well right out of the box. If there's a downside to those reeds, in my experience, they do tend to wear out more quickly than other kinds of reeds. But again, I just want to give you a selection of things that I think are worth trying out and I would include the Gonzales on that list and you can decide for yourself if it might be a good read for you. Now if we go up to a slightly more advanced level of read and a little bit more expensive, um, the reads that I use and that pretty well all of my advanced students use are made by Van Doren and they're the Van Doren V12. They come in this silver box. So Van Doren does have a couple different cuts of clarinet reeds. The V12 is my favorite. They're a little bit thicker blank and I find they give a really nice robust sound. Just my opinion. Now one thing about Van Doren reeds, and it's probably true most reeds, but I'm familiar with this since I use them. In a box of 10, I get three or four reeds that are like awful. It's just the way it is. But the good reeds are really good and I really appreciate them. So for me, it's worth taking a brand new box. I test all 10 at once and I immediately sort them into the awful pile, the, yeah, these are okay, I can probably fix them up, and the ones that are quite good. And I recommend you might wanna try that out. Now, another Van Doren type that some of my students really like is called the Rue Le Pic, or Rue 56, and it comes in a black box. Those are also quite nice. They play a little bit differently than the V12, and a handful of my students like those better than the V12. So again, both are worth trying. Another advanced level commercial read is the Rico Reserve reads, and 
I know some great players who use them and love them, so they're definitely worth trying. Um, my own experience, the first box I tried was phenomenal. I loved them. And then I bought, over the course of time, three or four other boxes, and they just didn't work on my setup. So there's something about my gear that's not great with those reads. But like I've said, I have some colleagues who really like them. So again, if you are kind of going on a read quest, you might want to try a few of these different brands out and just see what works well for you. Again, I do highly recommend if you're using the most basic, cheapest reads you can find, you try a better read. Most people, once they do that, they won't go back because they realize that they get so much better sound and it's so much easier to blow into them that that's what they prefer and they become hooked on better quality reads. I've made a printout of some read resources that I think you'll find handy and you'll see a link to that in the description underneath this video. I've also put a link to the other read videos that I think you'll find interesting. So I really appreciate you watching my video. I would like to invite you to join my Clarinet Mentors online community. It's totally free to join and it's a great way for me to share information with you and for you to share your information with other people. If you go to www.learnclarinetnow.com, there's an easy sign up box. And when you sign up, you'll get an email from me welcoming you to the community. And then about every two to three weeks, you'll get the Clarinet Mentors newsletter, which always has an educational video like the one you're watching today. It'll also have my recommendations of my favorite clarinet gear, like reed cases, that I think will help you out. Plus, from time to time, I'll be hosting special clarinet events. These might be interviews with experts, they might be online master classes, and I'd love for you to take part and get that invitation from me. I also look forward to hearing from you. Any comments you care to share about this video can go in the comments box right below here. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next Clarinet Mentors video.